the agenda. Now you you got the agenda by email, right? No, I did not. You I got have nothing. I by sent it email. through the portal that Suzanne set up for yeah, us. And, and I then did. I sent another one to you asking you with with things attached. To see if you I got maybe it. didn't look at the things that were attached. I mean, ah, I've been right. really, really busy. With These are the attachments. Okay. okay. Well, anyway, this is the agenda, and the agenda is I'll just I'll just call the meeting to order first. Yes. We're calling the meeting to order. Would you take notes tonight? We're going to just say that like when we start, and we'll and you can just put a brief thing about what we did on the agenda. Sure. Sure. Yep. Thank you, Dean. Mm -hmm. In fact, is this an extra? This uh, this may be the only one I have with me. Oh, okay. Just but we'll me, I, I, I but we'll use it tonight, and then you can take it. Yeah. All right. Say just let me pop it down here. Put everything in writing. Let's see if I had another one with me. That's okay. I was just gonna scribble on it, but that's it's I can do it right here. It's not a big deal. Okay. Okay. We're calling the meeting to order at six oh five. Um. Welcome. For, we've got Kathy Lamb, Dean Neathawk, and myself, and Charlie and Nancy are here somewhere. Who's behind me? <laughs> Hi. Um, so they, well, I would say that they're the guests. And the first thing we need to do is we need to um, elect a chairman, and I'm going to nominate myself as chairman if that's all right. That's fine. That's fine. We'll, I'm okay, the lead person. Vote. I'll go. We can all vote by person. consensus then, so yeah. we voted by consensus. All right. Um, the first thing I did is I prepared a mission statement so that we would be able to have a mission, and also something with it should be the scope of the work. Mm -hmm. And. I think I didn't bring the right one, but I'll bring the, the mission statement I'll read. Our mission is to present to the select board and the town of Rollinsford information sufficient for them to determine whether a town manager or some other type of assistant, such as an administrator, would be more effective, efficient, and cost effective in the administration of town affairs. If that's okay, mm -hmm. Um, do you want to make any changes, or would that be a, a good yes. mission statement? I would think so. Um, that sounds right to me. Okay, good. Just basically tell them what we're doing, and right. that's what we're doing. We're just bringing them the information. Right, that's what we're going to do. It's our job to go find it. Right, and, and what we're going to do for our work, our scope of work, I'll mm -hmm. read this out, is obtaining information as to how other towns with similar populations or tax bases are managing their town's affairs. Right. I think you've, you're reading it right on your phone, right? Mm -hmm. Good, I sent it by PDF too. So, Okay, obtaining financial information as to the relative costs of different types of administration. Mm -hmm. Obtaining information as to the relative effectiveness of different types of administration. Obtaining information as to what areas Rollinsford Select Board believes would be helpful to them in the administration of town affairs. This will be done by interviewing members of the select board and or the administrative assistant. Yeah. And finally, we'll prepare a report of the information and present the same to the select board, mm -hmm. which will also go to the town, and they can decide however they want to deal with this. So that's where we're starting the ball rolling. And if that's okay with everyone, um, that will be the scope of our work. Now, I want to mention that there are some differences, so that you know up ahead of time, there are some general differences between a town administrator and a town manager. A town manager is a form of government, and by that, what happens is the select board will give up certain powers that they have to the town manager, and the town manager will handle those things um, for them, the, the town manager for the He answers to them, but yeah. what happens is they give up their rights. That you know, he becomes the department head for everything and things like that. Mm -hmm. He makes those decisions. In fact, I've got a copy of RSA 37 here, which talks about what the town manager's job is. Um, hold on, just a I second. had some information too that I pulled off, and it says that the town manager is it's a different form of governing. That's what I said. Yeah. Yes. So it's, yeah, it is different. It is a different yes, form, and what yeah. it does is um, yeah, that's what I, have right I think there. I have a copy of 37. Um, 
There we go. Essentially, you have to, one of the things that's different between a town manager and a town administrator, a town administrator could be any person that the select board decides to hire. Right. It does that town administrator does not have to have specific um, qualifications or anything like that. They could pick anybody they wished. Uh, generally, most towns don't do that, but they could pick anybody they want. For instance, they could have someone who has got the right you in there. They could. Yeah, yeah. Anybody they wanted to. But, but what they would probably try to do, because of the um, importance of the work that is done in the town offices, they would more likely than not be um, picking someone who has got the right qualifications, the right background, et cetera, et cetera. And one of the things that, though, but if you pick a town manager, they have to definitely select the town manager with reference to their education, training, and experience to perform the duties. Mm -hmm. And that person has to be nonpartisan, whoever that person is, or at least, you know, he doesn't, he personally can vote however he wants, but he's, his position is nonpartisan. Okay? Um, essentially, it's the duty of the town manager to organize, continue, or discontinue from time to time such departments as selectmen may from time to time determine. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give everybody a copy. I'm going to send everybody a copy of okay. 37 just so you have an idea. Yeah. But you would be appointing, a, the, a town manager would be appointed upon merit and fitness alone. Right. Um, and, and he would have... But they would, pro they would probably decide overall how they want him to handle affairs. Right. But he has a lot of power. He, yeah. They cede their powers to manage everyday affairs to the town manager. Okay. Right. The difference, the major difference between that and an administrator is your administrator um, is more under uh, the guidance of the select board. They make the final decisions on everything, but the administrator assists in making all those decisions happen. Right. Okay, so and, that's and what the, and the price difference between the two is. Well, we don't know what the price you difference is. You don't know yet. No, we okay. we would have to, have. you know, there are different. Come for the qualifications, the more qualified the man is, right. the better. Exactly. The and, you may, be cost. and we might be able to, for instance, find someone who could be a town administrator that is not has not been doing it for 50 years and they might be more reasonably priced or something like that. Right. So as far as a town manager is concerned, what does the hierarchy look like? I mean, what so what does the select board actually what they the hire that person and then after once <laughs> once they hire him, he does all the stuff, he prepares the budget, he does everything from top to bottom in the office. So right. what then he handles the, the police board. department. The select board always has to get reports from him as to what happens. They would get reports as to the budget right. from him, you know. In other words, for instance, right now if all the, all the uh, departments would be giving their um, year-end information to the select board, mm -hmm. um, what will happen then is the, if it were a town manager, is they would give all of their end-of-year stuff to the town manager, who would then prepare the budget and give it to the select board. Mm -hmm. So that that would be the decision. Either to recommend. Right, or right. Same as they do now with the... Exactly. So what plan. I'll be doing is I will send you um, copies of 37, yes, which is the you. law on it, so you can mm -hmm. take your time to read it. I've just given you a very brief overview, mm -hmm. but you will be able to look at those things and you'll understand what the differences are. And we right. will attach a copy of 37 to our report anyway. Right, yeah. Right. And we'll it's be... Only good. And we will be doing that in any event when we do our final mm -hmm. report. Okay. So the, I just thought we would discuss that brief, briefly. We've already talked about the scope of the work. We've talked about the differences. Uh, the timeline, I'd like to have a fairly short timeline if we can, um, depending on how fast we can get our work done. One of the things that I thought we should do is we should be looking at communities both that our population size or the same tax base. Right, that's important. So, that's because the tax base may be, may be the thing. Mm -hmm. So our tax right base, now, I had looked up our tax base is according to the DRA, let me pull that out mm -hmm. here. Um, the DRA puts Rollins for, I think, at 
evaluation, and, I, and the question that we have to answer is whether we want evaluation with or without utilities. And I think it's just as easy just to do a total evaluation, but it's up to you guys what you think would be easier. Um, but it's not a huge difference. Let's see, let me pull up Rollins for it. I know Suzanne had sent something like this. I pulled it again from the DRA. Uh, okay, hold on just a second. Rollinsford, here we are. Um, we have 275661970 dollars in valuation. It goes up to 279000 and change with the utilities. So it's not a big difference for us. No. But what I think we but should that's do... That's 25000 yeah, 4,800 people. Right, and I, so, but I think we, what we want to do is we want to pull the towns that have under 3,000, mm -hmm. but we also want to pull all towns that have something close to our tax base valuation. Right. And the valuation that we should be looking at, we, we're not going to find someone exactly the same no. place as we are. No. So my guess is what we should try, probably do is figure ours as a median and say... Um, but it's up to you guys to That's think about how we could do it. That would be our starting base, and then well, work around it. People, that right? Are I'm just close saying. Right. I'm thinking if we had, if we started at say, 225 and went up to, say, 350 or something like that, mm -hmm. for millions in valuation. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, because that kind of puts it right in the middle. Right. I'm just kind of yeah. yeah. I'm kind of thinking that. Well, also we can we can go into the statistics and cut out all of the people in towns that are our our bracket who already have managers. Well, first and we'll but first let's find all the towns that fit this criteria. There are two hundred and ninety-five. Yes, I know that. I but I what. what I'm trying to get at is we want to find out how many towns have three thousand or less, and I know you looked that yeah. up. That's but the other one that we want to look at is how many towns have a tax base, base and they may have a different po population. Right. right. So that would be the but next thing. they'd all be in that, that group there. But we do want to pick the range. You have the, that list there, those I who are reading the tax base? Yes, I do, and I'm going Great. to be sending this to you guys Great. by email, so you'll have them. <laughs> but we'll want to pull those. Right. Um, I think what I'll do is, you've already pulled the population figures, right? Yeah. Um, um, I started at Bosco Inn at 3,975. That's not the limit. That's our right. age. But that's close enough. And I go all the way down to 275, 2,075. Right. Well, I think what we want to do is... Greenville. I think we want to pick, again, when we're looking at population, rather than just 3,000 or less, I think we should go with, like... 2,000 to 3,500, because we're about 2,500. Right. What do you think of that idea? Yeah, so we're like in the midpoint? We should really start with the, with the tax brackets and go from Well, I think we should do both. And so look at them. be high and... and right, but I think we should look at both. And then after we've done that part of the work, is we yeah, can, at our next meeting, we can look at it, it with this and, and we see can look what at we it have. And forth. Exactly. That? I think that, that would work best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then once we get that part done, Kathy, this mm -hmm. is I'm going to have. Um, I would think that once I send these out, we can do that. We'll cross reference. Cross reference them. Um, Match them, you know, town to population right. to find uh, tax. Right. We're going to try to match them up and find out what towns meet that criteria. Mm -hmm. Then, after we've done that, the next part would be. To look at, once we have those towns identified, we want to find out the size of their select board, mm -hmm. just to what get an idea. What they have already. Right. Yeah. We want to find out their budget fiscal, uh, the budget figures for the prior fiscal year, yeah. and the tax base for the last year, which we'll have that because we have that here. This is a 2017 tax basis. But there's more work than that to do. Of course. <laughs> said I got three weeks. You got me for three weeks after that. Well, yeah. I turned back into the school pumpkin. Well, that's okay because we're going to 
have that done. What I what I imagine us doing is I'm going to have Kathy try to pull the figures for us because mm -hmm. she's got the time. When and we get the, at our next meeting, if you would be the one to write up minutes and then post and have and we'll post them if that would be okay. Yep. Yeah. And then um, I'll help Kathy and Kathy can send me stuff as she gets it and we can look at it. And we'll decide for our next meeting. But as I say, yeah. the next thing to do once we've determined the towns. Oh, you're going to love this, Kathy. Oh, I love this stuff. <laughs> uh, does the town have a separate water or sewer department? Because okay. we have to compare apples to apples here. Yeah. So, you know, in our case, right. we don't have a set. We have a separate water and sewer. Yeah, but it's for a very limited amount of people in town. Right, but, but the point is, the water and sewer <laughs> collects money and they have their own budget. Right. And, what, and if it's included in a different town, we would have to take that out so we could compare. That's right. So yeah, we need I see to what you say, you're going to have to take out what they don't have. Right. They we have, have that right. we don't use. Right, for instance. This or, is. like, if they have a police department, mm -hmm. um, but they share their police department, With another town. that might be a different thing, and we'd have to figure out. We just have to make the a note of space would be different. That's right. So some of those things yes. may differ. Also... Most everybody has a separate school district, mm -hmm. but we got to make sure that they also have a separate school district. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's right. It's all in the statistics. And the same with the fire department. Mm -hmm. um, we have a volunteer. Yeah, we have fire. a volunteer, but most have a full. Although I think a lot well, of Well, we've got to check and find out what kind of fire department yeah. they have. They, so that all has to be put in there. Those are all statistics. So those are things that we need to know. Comparisons between one town and another right. is what they are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, figure the big thing will be once we get that is we'll have to find out the annual budget figures for the prior year and then we'll have to, of each of those towns, and then we'll probably have to strip out certain things depending on where they differ from our town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know how much of that you think you can do in the next week and a half, Kathy. <laughs> could be able to do all of it. You might be able to. Yeah. I mean, you I might. Have a few busy days. To I'm this thinking week if you could get the. Um, I think, Kathy, if you could get the tax base, yeah. which you'll have here. Yeah. You'll have the population figures. Um, the, the how many times? Part, how many towns are you talking about actually getting into? Well, ten. Well, we'll probably because there's 27 of them in all. Right. Well, we may may or may not have. You know, like the yeah. ones that have a lower population, for instance. We're not going to compare ourselves to 200. No, we population. get some. We get some lower population. We also have people with 28, 2,500 people like we do, but they're like Madison, New Hampshire. Are you here for the Garden Club in the back room? Okay. No, uh, there's no uh, income base. Right. That's you know, the tax base has to be way off because low income. Right, exactly. So, so that's we're not even going to bother with that. Right. So what I'll need you to do is get the, the all the towns that have population, as I say, between 2,000 and, um, I guess, 2,000 and 3,000. We, right. I, thought, I was going to say 3,500. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, yeah. That's quite a ways above us. Yeah, how yeah, about where do we, we're 2,000, we're 2,560, so we should go 2,000 to 3,000, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, that's a good, that's a good. For the population. Yeah, you got Bristol at 3,055. Yeah, but if it's close to it, that's it's fine. It's not, it's, no, but it's it's going to be low, low on tax base. Well, that's. they don't have the income up there, but that well, is, that's what we find We want to find that out. We want to find out the tax base. But so you have an The idea first how round many? is to find out the number of towns that we have that mm -hmm. meet our population and the second part is to find out those towns that are that are the tax base and they may not be the same population but the same tax base. Right. Find That's those. the important thing is matching those up from there. And then and we'll then go, from go from there. Then so what we have mm -hmm. that, if we can get that, we would be able to then start attacking. We'll give you that tomorrow. Right. Then the next part would be um, to look at those town figures and go to the um, Budget figures. We'll have to pull the budgets for the past year. In the individual towns. Right. And then, yeah. as I say, the is that tricky something part, we have to go to the town to get these information, or is probably, it publicized through the state? I don't know for sure. 
I can find out either. You're going to have to check that. I think that the state tells us, it will tell us, but I'm yeah. not positive. I know I got my information from the state. Yeah, like basically almost, I, I depend a lot on the DRA mm -hmm. because no, they yeah. have so much of this stuff. Yeah. And I go um, to the state because I work with them doing voting. Stuff, right. So I know those rules all So way. if you could pull it that yeah. way, that would be great. And as I say, then we may have to get some of this stuff from the individual towns. Right. And that well, would that be a uh, head letter asking for the information we right. want. Well, they may have it online. They may. A lot but of the towns we have our books. Everything's in our book. Right. Go back lot. and read our book. Yeah. Right. Tell you yeah. Yeah. Know. Well, a lot of them are online, them. and you might be able to get their budget online. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll find out what we can get that way. Right. The other way we do is if we have to write them or get their email addresses. No, it's okay. Sometimes yeah, email works faster than anything. Right. Now, who's very good at email? Yeah. Right, but you can get the email addresses. You can use my Apple. It has more computer than it knows what to do with. But well, I can I can I just do that. To go to school. But if we can get that first part, get it done, cross reference, and then decide what we. Can and then do. we can, and then I can look at at mm -hmm. it, and we'll decide what the next part is, because then we'll have to start making. We may have to make phone calls or something to find out whether they have the station yeah. included. Yeah. With the, with the school budget. Or During the day is wonderful because that's when they're in the office. So you right. Call and you can talk back and forth. And probably a lot, a lot of them with these are probably part-time town offices. This is true. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> but with that, if we can do that, we can. We've got it. Yeah, so yeah. anyway, that's that's what we'll I'll do. The first that. thing. When um, you decide on the towns that you want to look into with the people mm -hmm. and the tax bracket. Mm -hmm. and then from there we can set up the individual towns and go in and all the information. Right. It's exactly. like an intelligent Because we could be working on that even as we do um, the other part of this, mm -hmm. which will be meeting with the select board yeah. to um, determine what their needs and wants are mm -hmm. um, and what they're looking at and also ask for permission from them if we will be able to talk to their per current administrative assistant who might have a different perspective. And if we can do that mm -hmm. between the two of them, yeah. um, we could get that part done. That would be How nice. does everybody feel about that? Sounds good. That's good. Is there anybody else above and beyond the select board and the administrative assistant that would have a stake in the game that we would have to talk to or should talk to? I would say the administrative that. assistant. Um, I thought it was just a slight boy. No, we have, we have a, an assistant, the, the gal who works in the office, Caroline. Oh, Caroline. Yeah, yeah she works in the office. We can, yeah, no, I, I but we first have to ask the board for that permission because I'm not, going to, I'm not going to do that without their permission. No, don't step on anybody's toes. But those are the stepping. people that would probably know the most about what's what. Mm. I know there are other stakeholders, but I think that, um, I think we start with the the board because we have all the rest of the committees we have like planning and things like that I'm not sure that that's really what we have to get into that that we have to do that I don't know that that would be as helpful because we're more interested in the day-to-day -day running of the government here um, but if we could what do you think Dee? do you, do you think other than you know because you have the you have the select board you have the administrative assistant that works with them. We may or may not want to talk with the town clerk or the tax collector. The town clerk is an elected position, which is different. The town clerk here handles the voting and things like that. Plus license and registration. License and registration. Her job is a little bit different and more separated. We can talk mm -hmm. to Kate, I suppose. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's but, great. Thank you so much. And the only other person we would talk to at all, perhaps, may or may not be, but we'd ask the select board again because she's a town employee, would be the tax collector. Okay. And she she knows all the taxes and what comes in, what goes out. Well, so I guess all we the talk. building codes and where we're going. So we right. talk to uh, the select board first. And I think that would be it, it and, let them, and let them decide whether they think we should be talking to anybody else. I think it should okay. be up in their yeah. hands. I agree. Um, they start with that. And the way to do that, 
um, we have to decide whether we would like to meet as a committee with the board or if we would say, um, have, if while well, you're working on one part, maybe D and I go and meet with the board and find right. out what their needs right. are. Right, pick out their questions with the needs and oh, right. everything else, and then you can just fold yeah. it into the whole rhythm of it. Right, I mean, that's another possibility. What, what do you think you would like to do? Uh, I would do that. Yeah. I'd go into the facility. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and find out what to talk yes. <laughs> You never know what to talk to them. <laughs> but we could, we could go one night to their meeting and talk to them. Maybe we could ask them if we could go, um, like, meet with them. Say, if they meet at 6.30, see if we could meet with them at 6 or something like that. Just oh, is Judy here? Okay. Um, I'll see what we can set up with them. And that would make sense, because I'd like to hear from them. Yeah. I had originally, in our petition, suggested we get all this information by August, but I have a feeling if we could be sooner, it would be better. It would much better. You said by yeah. August? Right, August but I would really like, to, I really think really we could too. do this. I'd like to see if we could do it by June. Hi, do you need um, anything, or are you all set? We're set. Okay. Thanks. All right. June would be good. If we can get it in June, I would be happy. I'm going to be away at the first part of June, but... Um, mm -hmm. I'll figure it out by the end of June. Yeah, I think it will work. Yeah, I have a couple of weeks. I can just send you when I'm going to be out of town. Yeah, okay. I'm going to be gone. So I think Sounds with that, we've got most of the stuff we've got to do. Yeah. I'll send out um, 37... Mm -hmm. I say 37, yeah. and I'll send you the uh, DRA stuff. I have okay. it on. I have a copy. Yeah. And I can send it to you via email. Yeah. Yeah. So that you have it, I'll send it to yeah. both of you that way. Right. And I that think. Good. Um, and then, while you're researching the town, see if you can grab an email for um, whoever the person is we would talk to in the town. In the town. Okay. Yeah. I can do that. Suppose first, why don't we share that stuff online? The towns and stuff. If you can yeah. send us something sure. on, online, mm -hmm. and we can look at it because I don't know if we have to meet every time to, to get this um, Scott work done. <laughs> I, I think we could do as much as we can that way, and then. Um, you know, as you get the information, we can try to decide, and then we can meet again and and talk about which towns we picked which and what we're going to be working. Because we really are going to do a lot of digging to figure out which ones we right. want to go after. How soon would you think you could just get the t the two the two criteria met? Tomorrow. Okay. We'll take that to compare that with this, and then we'll take that on. Okay, and, and, and then we send it on to. Okay, so you're going to get all the towns between two and three thousand. And, yep, I started thirty nine, and right, and um, then the cash that goes. And right if it's, it's pretty, pretty close, if it's thirty one hundred or something, I ain't worried about that. Yeah, I'm do that. that. Um, they, they're fairly, you know, there's quite a few. Like there's a couple thirty eight, three thirty eight, seven, six, five, 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 three. You know, just steadily goes down. Because all the little ones we won't worry about. You know, it's a couple hundred. We don't worry Anything about. under twenty five hundred, unless it shows that they've already got a good tax base, which I really Kingston, uh, Cran Canberry. I mean, things like that. I don't think they've got a lot of tax base, so they'll be wiped out by the way. Right. Well, maybe what we should do is maybe you can give us a, a compile a list of the towns that meet the criteria for population and a separate list for the ones that meet the. Uh, um, the uh, tax base. Okay. And um, just send that along to us, and then we can try to. We'll decide which ones meet our criteria now. Right. right. How does that sound? That sounds good. We can do them side by side with each other. And right. Just look at. Well, this town has 332, mm -hmm. but it also has 4 million coming in. You know, they tax yeah. because it's a ski resort. Yeah, exactly. You know, you don't know. Not many people during the day, but in the wintertime, you know, it overflows and things. Sure. You're in there. <laughs> but money. if so we could do that, why don't we do it that way? You just okay. get us the just list. Just compare them all and then just, we'll choose yes, from there. and we'll choose. And yeah. if you can do that pretty quickly. I should have um, done tomorrow. All I have to do is download that. Right. Probably we should do is 
meet to discuss that. Um, next week. What's your, what's your schedules next week? Just for a brief meeting. Uh, yeah, it won't take long, I don't think. I'm good. I'm good next week. It's this week is bad. <laughs> I'm going to get a dump thing up at Concord oh boy. Friday. He's going up there to study about the dump and all its hazards. And so you know how to get there. <laughs> I'm out of town for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. um, so What day are you, are you back? So 16th, 17th, you know, I'm out. So the 19th? The 19th is what day of the week? Uh, Thursday. So Thursday. 19 and 20 is good for me. Um, what time? Thursday. Thursday. Um, let's see, it would have to be, it could be anywhere between 4 and 6, because I have church on Thursday Okay, nights. well if we met at 4, we should probably be able to get it done, the library's sure. open until 5 on Thursday, yeah, so if we met at 4 on Thursday, we could probably whip through this stuff, get that done, mm -hmm. and go to the next little part, and I think yeah. it would be a quick meeting. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. If that works for everybody. I think we can do that. Yep. That way we'll have our town list from Kathy, and we'll do yeah, thing. We'll have a financial list, and we can go back and forth between each other. So right. That we want to look into. Right, exactly. And, and as far as, you know, North Conway, it is a summer, re a winter resort, and they don't have that many people in the summertime, but what they do have is all the amenities mm -hmm. that they require, that we're looking at. And that, that all boils down to telling you whether we can or can't. Right. Which would be interesting to see. It's always interesting to see how other towns handle these things and, and see what um, we can do. Because what we want to do, the, the real purpose of this is try to see what we can do to help our select board to make them more Better effective decisions. and more efficient. Mm, make their decisions. And, and I think it would work. This is something that was, just so I know historically how this came about, was it something that the select board brought up? Or was no, it there a little bit no. of a buzz in the there was some bucks and we decided okay. that we would look at this and try to see if we could figure out what to help. Basically, if you go to the, um, you know, there's there's just, what hap if you look at town reports and stuff like that, if you look at, you know, a long time ago, they didn't have as much stuff that they have to handle. I mean, they have the portal that goes to the DRA that they have to work with now that, you know, if, if you've looked at the DRA site, it tells you about what kind of things the town needs to do. That is a time-consuming little right there just to do the stuff that you have to do to satisfy that. Mm -hmm. You have the MS4 stuff, you have the this and that. There's all these different Federal things. Federal grants, state grants. That they have to do. And if they need money for something, I mean, I can't even imagine the amount of time Suzanne probably put in to get the grant money for the fire engine. I mean, alone. And that was only a percentage of right. it at that. It to get, she all had to it. get the grant money and then she had to figure out how to meet, you know, they had to meet with the attorneys to get the bonding done. I would say the bonding alone was probably 100 hours of work. Yeah. I mean, that's an awful lot of work for people who are volunteers and mm -hmm. aren't being paid, but right. a couple grand a year or whatever it is, it's not much. I mean, it is wonderful to have people doing that, but yeah. if we could do something to give them more help, we got to figure out a way to do it. The if one advantage of a manager is you have institutional memory, but you could also have that same thing with an administrator. Mm -hmm. If they were under contract, we just don't know. And I'd like to see what kind of money it costs all the way around. And then we, if we can give a report and let the select board say, okay, here's a lot of facts, here's how other towns have done it, here's what we found out about that, and then they can decide what direction they might have to go in to best handle it. I mean, they, when you add all the different things that they do, you know, you have the capital improvement program, That's that takes a lot of time. Now, part of that, we went through Stratford Regional Planning, I think, to help them with that. Um, another thing that they had to do was recently they tried to um, look at all the roads to figure out which roads had to be fixed first and look at all the culverts, see which ones had to go. You know. I mean, there's all this, there's a lot of stuff that has to happen. And people don't realize, because a lot of that didn't happen for a long time, and it's got to happen. Mm -hmm. and, it, and what we don't want to do is get in a position where it's done and then it doesn't get done. And then it gets or it done. gets done pretty fast. Well, that's so another four sure. years. We're back where we had when we first started. I mean, let's do something, fix it right. And so yeah. what do we do? Where do we go? And and they're everyday people like you and I, and they're sitting on an awful lot of stuff now that it's just impossible for them to remember. 
I mean, they have to manage. They have to manage the uh, hydroelectric thing. I mean, we have a hydroelectric plant plant that we have to manage. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, there's. I can't think of all the things, but there's just so many things that when you sit down, I mean, and then they're having to manage the employees of the town and things like that. So I mean, there's a lot going on. For a couple of hours every Monday night. Right. Well, they can't do it in a couple they of hours. They have to work all the time doing it. So it turns yeah. out where it's almost a full-time job for somebody for them. And what we need to do is try to figure out how to make it a little bit um, run a little bit more smoothly. What kind of help do they need to do that? Mm -hmm. And I don't know what that would be, but I think we ought to find out. <laughs> yeah, because you can't do you can't do away with them. They're in our charter, so they stay. I did not know that until recently. What? They're in our charter. The, the selectmen are part of our charter. That's true. That's you can't true. just push them aside. They're part of it. They're there. They're part of the town. They've been there since the beginning of the town. That's right. And so now, now it boils down to what do we do to help them? Well, that's what we need to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are, and the best way we, I can think of to do that is for us to get this report done and prepare for them. Mm -hmm. And let them make it, you know, and give them all the tools that they need to make a decision. And then they're not they finalized either, because they get to turn around and turn it to the town for approval from the town. So right, if they just it's, it's a long day, but if they put it out there so it's intelligent, and our town's right. folks can sit there and say, oh yeah, that would make better sense. Right, if they, well, if they decide to get a town manager, it goes to the town. They could yeah. decide to get an administrator without having to go to really, the Really, they wouldn't have to go. I didn't right. know that. Okay. But they have to make a decision about what they should do. And we can't, and we should do all we can to help them Make the, by giving the them all the information, information. that they need. Yeah, because a town, a, a town organizer is good, but he doesn't have the credit and the credentials of a town manager has. Right. Although a town manager may be so expensive, that may be out of our. That's another. It might be out of our wheelhouse. <laughs> yes. But let's look at. Yeah. But let's, let's look, look at this all and and try yeah. to help them out. Okay. With yes. that, um, I think we can. Um, we've got the assignments for next week, right? For, and we're going to meet on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Thursday yeah. at four. Thursday at four. Right here, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And with that, and what did what did we say that Thursday's date was? Nineteen, I believe. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I think that will be a short meet because we're just comparing. Yes. Right? Yeah, right. Comparing and deciding. And it's yes. stuff. Wrapping it up at 640. Six, 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 I think it's 640.